Hi guys and welcome to a new video. As you can see, it's me, this is my face reveal. I know my English is not very good, but like Jake the dog said, sucking at something is the first step towards being sorta good at something, so I will just try to practice more. Anyways, in this video I will go through my old videos. I have been making YouTube for over 7 years now. I have made 219 videos. Let's start from the very beginning. So let's go to my first ever video. It was building vendors. This was my vend shop. 12th of August in 2016. I had just turned 13 years old. Let's see. Oh my god, that is loud. So basically I had already practiced Photoshop, so that's how I made this thing. <laughs> Let me explain a bit more. One year before I even started YouTube, I started making thumbnails. I liked using Photoshop for fun, so I just didn't even make videos, I just made thumbnails for fun. So that's how I already knew how to make thumbnails when starting YouTube. It's so crazy to me that it has been seven and a half years since this video because I remember this so well. I remember building this. How does time go so fast, man? And this was Geomi Storage back then. I still have this word. It's still called Geomi Storage. Nowadays it has a lot more items dropped. This brings back so many memories. I also, back then, well, I had just turned 13 years old, like I said, so I wasn't as good in typing English. I kind of liked the design, to be honest, right here. You can see that even back then my favorite color was green. Yeah, this intro is crazy. This outro, I mean. I'm pretty sure that music is copyrighted, so I'm not gonna play that, but yeah. Subscribe if you like my video. Nice outro, man. Anyways, let's look forward. So I started with building vendors, then I did a lot of item ideas. There's one, two, three, four. My seventh video, this one right here, was the one that originally blew up. This video right here, I remember it got like 30,000 views, which is a lot because I had just started YouTube. Like this was my seventh video. So that was so crazy to me. But I also back then knew how to make thumbnails and thumbnails are really important on YouTube. So I had basically prepared for a long time before even starting by practicing thumbnails. And I mean, I also knew how to edit somehow. Then here is my building main word video. I still have the same main word to this very day. This is when me and my friend build the main word. If you have ever watched my videos before, you probably recognize this word because I'm here very often. I designed this main word myself using my phone back then. There was this application, Grotopia Tools. I used that to design this before building it. And this design became very popular. So many people copied this design. Maybe like 50 people or something. It was crazy. I was 13 years old back then when I designed this. And I still have it now that I'm 20 years old. This was the finished design. Yeah, you can see the full design here. This is basically the whole world right here. This was the first video that blew up my channel, the Science Station project. But then after that, the main word video also got a lot of views back then. Yeah, there's some random uploads here. This was really crazy because I got a blanket cape out of the first ever supervillain I defeated. It's an epic quest to get a blanket cape. So some people have tried thousands of times to get the blanket cape and still haven't got it. But I got it on my very first ever crime fight that I did in this game. That was some crazy luck right there. And it also got a lot of views. There's some more random videos here. And then 
the beginning of it all, my Road to Xenonite video. This was when I started doing Road to series six years ago. Ever since then, I have focused on Road to videos. Most of my videos since have been Road to videos because this series really blew up my channel, like really blew it up. The last episode of Road to Xenonite has 71,000 views. Here comes kind of a weird age of my channel because I did a lot of a lot of different series but I never finished one. For example here I started Road to Golden Angel Wings. I did 9 episodes before stopping it because back then Golden Angel Wings were really expensive and I couldn't afford them so I just gave up and instead... wait... So I just gave up and instead I started Road to Emerald Pickaxe. So in this series I tried to change my set. I don't know why, I just thought my set has focused eyes so people can't copy it because not everyone has focused eyes. I took inspiration from people like Vicar10 that had a set that everyone can copy. So I just made a random set that everyone can copy and I used it for this series for 8 episodes before changing back to my original set and right here you can already see that cosmic cape was made cheap i started using it in my set so right here even six years ago you can see that my set is basically the same i did road to emerald pickaxe and i got the emerald pickaxe but then i started road to da vinci wings which was way too expensive so i only did wait i did a lot of episodes Oh yeah, I did 17 episodes before making an important update video. At this rate, Road to Da Vinci would have taken way too long because I wasn't even close to having enough diamond locks. So I changed it to Road to Phoenix Wings. Then I did Road to Phoenix Wings for 9 episodes, but even that was too expensive. So then I changed the Road to Nightmare Devil Wings, did that series for 12 episodes and actually got the Nightmare Devil Wings. And that was a really nice moment. Before that I got Xenonite in Road to Xenonite, then I got Emerald Pickaxe, then I got Nightmare Devil Wings. I was making progress back then. Then I started Road to Blue Gemlock. That series did quite well and I got a blue gem lock. Right here is when I started trading buy plus words. So it has been more than five years since I started trading those. It was by rock platform. That was my first buy plus word. That series did quite well and I got the blue gem lock mostly by trading and selling profitable words. And then this series really took off. I did blue gem lock to Da Vinci Wings. This is one of my most popular series ever. Basically I traded a lot of buy plus words here too. I did that for 12 episodes before I got Da Vinci Wings. When I got Da Vinci Wings I really felt like now I have completed the game. Like I got the most expensive item in the entire game and I felt really good but also a bit empty because I had already completed all the goals that I had set to myself in the game. And back then in that video I did a trip down memory lane type of thing in the end. Well here you can see when I bought the Da Vinci Wings. Oh, I'm blocking it. Yeah. Back then it was four blue gem locks. It was really really a great moment and then in the end of this video this is the first ever screenshot i have from growtopia it was in 2014 my set was like that back then then here is one of my other first oh it goes kind of fast well, here is the screenshot where I got 8 word locks for the first time ever. In this picture I got a riding raptor that I spent all my word locks on and the riding raptor got scammed. Funny story actually, when I started GT I grinded months and months to get 8 word locks. I used them all to buy a riding raptor. Back then it was my dream and it got scammed. I was so sad that I was extremely close to quitting the game. I was 
so close, but I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I got over losing the raptor. And back then I thought one day I will be so rich that I will not care anymore that my eight word locks got scammed. That was my dream, to be so rich that I wouldn't get care anymore about the biggest loss ever, which was getting scammed everything I had, which was the raptor. <laughs> Safe to say I'm at that point now. Oh yeah, here I typed it too. It was the closest I have ever been to quitting. That is true. I didn't quit, so that means you neither should never give up. To get back on my feet after getting scammed everything I had back in 2014, I started farming Venus Guide Trap. Here is my first diamond lock. This screenshot is because I got it. I was really happy. It was the 25th of February in 2015. My first ever diamond lock. Okay, so after that video, I started also one of my most successful series, which is Da Vinci Wings to 10 Blue Gem Lux. I did that series for 18 episodes before finally getting 10 Blue Gem Lux. After that, I started what I think is my most popular series, which is 10 Blue Gem Lux to 20 Blue Gem Lux. I did that for 20 episodes. This was over two years ago now, and at this very video right here, at this point, I had basically got everything I ever wanted in the game. I had 20 blue gem locks, which at the time was insane. It was so crazy to me. 20 gem locks back then was a lot. I had already owned by pastel, by couch, Da Vinci Wings. I had already had basically everything in the game that I wanted. I didn't want any words like by wing, like that. I couldn't afford that even if I wanted to. But it was never my dream either. Till my dream was to own a word like buy couch, which I did. Then my dream was to reach my goal of 20 BGLs, and I did reach that. So at that point, I had basically already completed all my goals in the game. Because I never wanted legendary items. I think those are a waste of diamond locks. Because if you use diamond locks on those, you never get those diamond locks back. And then you can't use those diamond locks to trade and make more. You know, after this video, I started 20 BGL to 30 BGL, but all the passion, all the motivation, all the drive was gone at that point. And that also shows in the views a bit. As you can see, the views went down. I had already completed all of my goals in the game. So I did five episodes and then I was like, I can't keep doing this. I don't find any enjoyment in this anymore. I need to change things up. So then I uploaded my face and voice reveal. There's over two years since that video. I didn't really find much enjoyment in that either. So I just switched to making really short videos like you can see here. This is two minutes, this is one minute. I did over edited videos. Let me show you. Let's watch this one. Um, so basically I just edited a lot because I didn't find any enjoyment in grinding anymore because I had already completed all of my goals. So I just tried a lot of different things to find something to make videos about because I still wanted to make videos. I just basically continued the series and it kind of took off again. The only videos that really took off are the ones that are collecting diamond locks. Basically, if the title has some sort of collecting, those videos got views and they were very easy to make. So I was like, why not make these? I don't really enjoy making them anymore because I don't have any goals or anything, but people want to see them. They get a lot of views. So why not keep making them for the people? So I just made them. People really enjoy them still. Then I made a carnival video that was really highly edited. Well, it didn't get many views at all, even though I spent a lot more time on it. Because the thing with YouTube is, it doesn't matter at all how much time you spend on something. For example, if I spend, let's say, one hour making a video like this, and it gets 20,000 views, 
and then I spend let's say 10 hours on a video like this and it gets only 3000 views. It's because it doesn't matter how much time you spend on a video, only thing that matters is what people want to see. Then I did some more videos, then I did some videos where I also used face cam. I wasn't enjoying it, so I switched back to no face cam. Then I did basically a lot of random videos and then here I spent a really long time on this video. The recording of this video took like 16 hours and the editing of this video took 14 hours. In total this video took 30 hours to make and I still think it's a good video. My voice in it is pretty quiet but I still think it's a really good video and it has 25,000 views so it got some views which is nice because I spent a lot of time on that video. I did this video, it took like one hour to record and make and it got nice amount of views. Then here I did a lot of more random videos. As you can see right here, after this video, I took a 5 month break between these two videos. Because I had nothing left, I didn't know what to make. I had already done everything, there was nothing to make, I didn't know what to do, so I just took a long long break. And then my friend Warrior kind of brought me back a bit here, because he really asked me a lot of times to make a set challenge with him so I was like why not let's do it just for fun like the old times let's not look at the views let's not care if it gets only 3000 views let's just do something for fun like the good old times after that I took a bit of a break again because I didn't know what to make I didn't have any motivation to make anything then you probably think what happened then because I came back two weeks ago and since I came back I have made a new video every single day let's see 14 15 16 17 days ago so in 17 days I have made 17 videos like you can see here so what happened? What happened to me not doing anything and having 2 month breaks, 3 month breaks, even 5 month breaks between uploads to me just uploading every day? Well the thing is nothing really happened. Nothing at all. I just decided I wanna do YouTube. So how about I just do it? Even if I don't have motivation to make the videos, why not just do my best and work every day? And that seems to have worked really well. After I get came back the videos have been getting good feedback back and I have liked making them. I have made only videos that I like. That's basically the full story. Thank you so much for watching. I know this video was a lot different but I hope some of you still watched it. So thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.